What's up guys? It's VG Punk and you seen Different Fight done it, you seen Vanguard Insider done it, and now your boy VG Punks, it's gonna do it. So we're talking about aesthetic in Vanguard that I would like to see in the future. And with me right now is Octopus Sama. <laughs> with the D format coming very soon, we are excited to see what each nation can do. And since we're not restricted by clans anymore, we will for sure see new aesthetic and artworks that we have never seen before. And I hope some of the ideas that I give today, we will see in the future. Preferably very soon. Let's stop idling around and get into it, okay? And we'll have Octopus Sama here to tell us what he think. Alright, so the first one that I want to see is definitely one that I have been talking non-stop about it to my friend. And they are probably sick and tired of me talking about it. But now, I will let the universe know what I think. And the first thing I want to see in the new Overdress era is definitely male idols. It's been 10 years and Bermuda Triangle has only had female in its repertoire. So come on, give us some guy there. I'm sure there's a couple of mermail swimming around. And I'm pretty sure there is some Bermuda fanboy out there that will be like, Oh, it's gonna ruin the aesthetic of Bermuda. I don't care. So you can all suck it. Give me some male idol mermaids and I will definitely play that deck to the end of time. But let's see what Octopus Sama, think about it. Ever wanted to see something so beautiful, so unattainable. We're interrupting this video for a sponsor, and today's sponsor is Bug Spray. If you don't like Mega Colony, you can tell them to fuck off with this. From the same maker as Football Steroid and Dinosaur Fossil. All right, that's it, back to the video. All right, now for the second aesthetic, it's more like a mechanic that I would like to see in one of the aesthetic, and it's that I wanna see Overdress, but in a Pale Moon based deck. Come on, Pale Moon is the circus. That's performing arts. And what do you do the most in performing arts? It's obviously dressing up and overdressing. So I was pretty surprised when they give it to a God Bird. I can't see their thought process at all. Can you, Octopus Sama? Ever that he fucked me? Uh huh. Anything else? With a toothbrush! Great, thanks for your input. We're moving on to the third one. And once again, the third one will be more of clan based aesthetic that I would like to see again. And this time, it's gonna go to my other favorite clan, and that's Mega Colony. So, since we have the ride decks now in Overdress, I think it will be great if the future decks that is based on Mega Colony have a ride chain that is based on bees. And the great three could be like the Queen Bee. Not that Queen Bee. But she certainly run the world. It's been 3000 years since Gridora appeared. A new queen has to take over, right? And what better is it in than the Queen Bee? Come on, nature basically just right itself. If it's not the queen bee, then could it be the queen ants? Whatever it is, I don't want to see Gridora again because that's not a bug. And I want to see some bug. The correct kind. And if you want to dig into the lore, why don't you make the queen bee be some sort of branches from the machining archetype? Because, hey, Digimon have it. It looked great. And I'm not saying to copy Digimon, but I'm saying to copy Digimon because I like that Digimon. And for this one, Octopus Sama doesn't have anything to say because he's an octopus. They don't mess with bees. They're two different worlds. So we're going to move on and check out the next aesthetic, okay? All right, so are you guys ready for me to tell you about my fourth idea? It is completely mental crazy out of this world i'm getting anxiety and nervous just thinking about it and how great would it be if they input this into overdress i feel like this next aesthetic could be very familiar to most people yet no one thinks about it and no card game has ever done it before in my knowledge Yu-Gi-Oh, have you done this all right let me stop teasing you and just get right to it okay 
And my fourth idea is mental illness as a car aesthetic. I know it sounds weird, but just think about it. We never have any aesthetic that's more of an abstract or a concept rather than a physical being, you know? I think if we allowed the artist to use mental illness as an aesthetic, I think that would be a great idea. But I don't want some random emo boy in a black hoodie. I'm talking about abstract artwork. I know using mental illness is a weird aesthetic to go by, but I found this one video where they give physical form to the mental illnesses that a lot of people have. And I'm gonna link it below so you can check it out after you finish this video. And I think it's really cool how the artist did it. And I was hoping that we get to see something like that in Vanguard, you know? I know for sure some of them will definitely be relatable to me. Do you have any mental illness, Octopus Sama? Did you want my life to be home? No one liked you, you bully hoe! That's what you are! Alrighty, moving on to the last one on my list. Most people don't know about these guys because they're so secretive, but the moment I saw Keter Sanctuary being one of the five nations, I immediately thought to these guys. And if you don't know it, they are called the SCP Foundation. I think it's a great idea if we kind of take some part of it and create cards out of them. So basically what the SCP Foundation is, they're a science based, it's a community that write about science fiction stuff and they write a lot about anomalies that happen around the world. All, all fake of course, but you know. It's the idea of it that's intriguing to people. And some of the most popular ones have leaked a little bit into the main media. Some popular SCP that they can do is the shy guy. He's a abnormally tall man, mostly skin and bones, but have a really, really... How do I even explain this? You can you can check those stuff out. There's plenty of video on YouTube talking about these guys. Some of my favorite are the Shy Guy, the Tickle Monster, um, the Chef Knife, Cousin Johnny, and if you check it out, you will fall into a deep hole of these things. And I think it'll be a great idea if we see some kind of resemblance of it in Vanguard. And of course, I told you earlier, one of the reasons why I think SCP will be a great aesthetic is because I saw Keter Sanctuary. And Keter is one of the terms they use for SCPs that are very dangerous, possibly end the world dangerous. From the list I gave earlier, I I believe Shy Guy is a Keter. Or he could he, he could be a Euclid. I have no idea. I forgot. Ugh. I say that he's my favorite, yet I forgot what containment he's in. Whatever. But yeah, I think it'll be great if we have some SCP in Vanguard. If not for Keter Sanctuary. Maybe we can put them in Brent Gate because it's in the middle of nowhere and they're basically a contain a giant containment unit. So that would be fun. Or maybe they can have a water-based deck that is based on octopus. What do you think? Oh, you're not gonna talk now? No, nothing to say? So, what do you think of my idea? I think they're pretty great. I won't be mad if they don't happen, but please make it happen. Please. I want to see the Queen Bee. If there's any aesthetic that you would like to see in Overdress, comment them below and let me know. Maybe put a couple of examples if you can, or even give me the effect if you want to. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more of my face and maybe Octopus Summer can come back as well. Well, that's the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you do, 
please go ahead and check out the other Vanguard related content that I make. Please. Take care of yourself and I'll be seeing you real soon my love. Ow, this bitch is hot. Who's doing laundry this late at night? Most people, and it is. Damn it, all that blooper is for nothing! <sighs> Messy as fuck. Oh my god, it's hot. Oh. Yeah. <sighs> Sit up straight, bitch. Uh, what is that called? I feel like this next... You would like something that you like... Damn, this is hard. <sighs> yeah, that's pretty good. <sighs> I need water. So, for those of you who don't know, the SCP Foundation is basically... How the fuck do I do this? How the fuck do I... So, since we have the ride chain... Yeah.